Hello everyone, welcome to Join Networks. In this video, we are going to make a review about TP-Link ER605 VPN router. We are going to check its features and all the settings we can find in this router. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So for the actual unboxing, so the box is usually the same as the other routers if you buy a new router. It shows also all the details. It is shown in here that it supports Umada. So let's check what's inside. So it comes with an in installation guide, power adapter, 12 volts, 1 ampere, and the rubber feet. also comes with a LAN cable and a paper of some sort of license okay, let's check the actual router so the router itself is kinda heavy it's pure metal by holding you can really feel that it's premium This router comes with a 5 gigabit ports and a one, one USB port and a reset button at the side. Overall, based on its appearance, this router is somewhat, I guess, a heavy duty router because of its metal case and I guess this, this case is also used as a heat for its heat dissipation and to sustain its uh, temperature. Let's try on powering on this router. So I have inserted the internet source at the first port, the one port. And then I have inserted my PC on the last port, the fifth port. So I have turned on the router and wait for a few minutes to boot up. Well, the router took us about 5 minutes to boot up, so it shows the system LED blinking for about 5 minutes. In order for you to log into its setting, you have to open your browser and enter 192.168.0.1 and then this page will show up and you you may now create your own username and password select confirm okay now log in again the username and password you have just created so this is the uh, main interface so we have here the quick setup wherein we can change the one and we can change how many uh, active one ports we're going to use you can also check here the USB if you wanted to turn on the USB if you wanted to insert the USB I guess the USB stick or uh, USB modem so you can configure it if it's dynamic IP or static 
or PPOE so up to three ports so just like what I have said you can merge three up to three ISPs globe it's either globe PLDT or converge but for this setup let's uh, put it on single ISP mode only okay it is now connected so let's proceed to other settings okay, here the status the system status okay it shows all the details and all the uh, IPs okay so we also have here the traffic all the the traffic that goes in and out in our system I mean in our router so for quick setup so we have here the network so for now we are going to act if you wanted to activate how many one ports you could check those and connection type okay LAN setting we have here the LAN setting well I, I am not really interested about the other settings here I, I didn't change any setting I am only interested at the dual one or triple one setup with this router so you could really change or customize each port here so have here the VLAN yes if you wanted to have a separate traffic for your for example CCTV's servers you can set up VLAN also okay so for the USB You could use the USB as storage, the USB port, or you could use it as a modem. So if you have those um, USB broadbands, you could use it also in this in this type of router. So uh, I didn't really change anything in this setting. We'll just have to make a walk through all of the settings. So it also has the bandwidth control. Okay you could control the data that comes in and out in this router okay if you really wanted to configure all your networks you could really do that in this type of router I mean this type of router is aside from its um, already plug and play actually you can tweak all, all 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 the settings depending on your needs or depending on on the type of network you are making okay we have here the load balancing we're going to check that later so it also has the ability to route the packets in order for you to control really control the packets you have you can modify and you can prioritize the pockets that comes in and out in your router okay so this one the VPN you could really I guess you can create your own VPN setting settings here because this router is was really marketed for its VPN setting I mean VPN capability services you can set the DNS I didn't change any setting in this router aside from the password and the username okay we have here the admin setup
date and time setting so I guess that's pretty much everything so let's try the dual one setting in order for you to make uh, two ISPs combined so uh, see there's only one uh, source so we're going to enable a dual one so check this one then it turns uh, pink as so you can see then save it will restart your router it, it also took me about five minutes to wait so I have forwarded the uh, video okay oh, now as you can see there are now two available and only one was linked up because we only have one ISP but if you are going to insert another ISP in the port 2 then it will also show link up so in transmission and then load balancing so basically I didn't change anything in here but you uh, uh, make sure that you have enabled the uh, application optimized routing and also enable the load balancing so link backup let's check okay if you wanted to have the primary one and the other ISP as backup if if you wanted that the ISP one will become your primary if it fails then uh, the secondary will automatically uh, link up but for me I wanted it to have a balance whatever the ISP1 and the ISP2 gives I wanted it to be uh, to get the total of it so save If you're planning on getting a multiple ISP, I highly suggest this router. Aside from it's very easy to set up, this router is also from a well-known brand, TP-Link. Also, if your work is mainly based on internet, you really need to have this type of router. That would be all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe.